So today I'm going to show you on how to do a fade in fade out on Final Cut Pro using very simple tools. So basically, as you can see on my timeline, there are a couple of videos and a soundtrack uh, all the way at the bottom. And if I want to create a fade in fade out effect for both my audio and video. So basically for audio, fade in is very simple. Just hang the mouse over here. There's a little button over here and then just drag it like this. You can drag it to be a longer one or a shorter one and you can actually adjust the overall volume like this as well. It's the simplest and most effective way. So for video wise, it's also very simple. For conventional ways, you can always just adjust the opacity value like this. But as you can see, there's a second layer, second clip all the way at the bottom of this, the first clip. And then if you want to adjust the opacity as well, it can be done, but it's kind of troublesome, isn't it? So for me, what I usually do is that I go to the generators tab and you find custom. Yeah, this is a custom block of black screen and you just drag it over, put it all the way at the top of all your videos, audios, whatever, and then go all the way to the starting, go to your opacity, create a keyframe, and maybe here in the middle, drag the opacity down to 0% and just hit the play button and you can see that that's a very smooth fade-in effect. If you want to uh, lengthen say this fade-in effect, you just click right click on your custom block and then show video animation and just drag this little button over here to longer, shorter. So let's try a longer version of the fade-in and yep, something like this this is the simplest version so if you want to have a longer um, black screen kind of stuff you can always just in the middle drag the value to be a little bit higher and you can even drag this a little bit longer in the middle you also increase the value a little bit yeah. it depends actually so for me I think it's kind of good actually to, to create this simple fade in effect. So for fade out effect it's exactly the same. So for all the way at the end of your clip, you can always hang your mouse over here and you can see there's a fade audio out uh, kind of indicator and just drag the thing over here. And similarly just drag your custom block over here and then please make sure the length of your custom block covers everything and then for me it's simple I just go all the way to the end and click a keyframe make sure the opacity is at 100% and then maybe here I'm just gonna drag all the way to zero and then sometimes I might want to match the fade out part of the audio to the fade out part of the video so yeah make sure it's about the same length and then yeah that's all you just hit the play button and it's a fade out yeah something like that is very simple and it's very easy to use so hope you guys enjoy this and you can actually apply this on your transition as well so this is like a cross this off sometimes so if you guys are interested i can do another video and that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this.